How many of you view your desires that way when they show up? Recognizing that something's coming through me right now. Something's ready to come forth. If I can believe it, if I can accept it, see? So, so does this principle that I'm talking about just work with lead singers of song groups? No, no of course not. It works with perfect health. It works with unlimited prosperity. It works with unbridled joy. It works with unconditional love. The supply had to precede the demand for it. If there's a demand on the table, the supply must already exist. And that was exactly what was being proven by the group. It was exactly what Christine said this morning in her opening treatment, that what, what Journey was looking for was looking for them. What Arnell was looking for was looking for him. And the universe was able to bring them together, even though they were six thousand miles apart. That's power. That is some serious power. Okay? So just, just, I want you to just really pay attention to the power of your belief and what it can do. Now, the next, next story I want to share with you was something that I found online this week. It was about a Missouri man who won the Powerball jackpot. Now, at the point that he won the jackpot, he was living paycheck to paycheck. He had $28 in his checking account. And in the twinkling of an eye, he went from $28 to $258.5 million. In the twinkling of an eye. Now, oh, we've heard of this before, haven't we? We've heard of people winning those great big jackpots before. But could it happen to you? Could it happen to you? Or do you have something in place that says, that only happens to other people? Because if we have that in place, it's time to move it, isn't it? It's time to move it out. Like I said, this, these aren't, these aren't um, amazing stories. These, these are very powerful stories that are life-changing if we could simply believe that they could happen. How are we believing? How are we believing? Now, you often hear me talk about the difference between thinking at the physical level and thinking from the quantum or mental or spiritual level. Now, the thing that we want to recognize is that if we're thinking from the physical level, we're thinking linearly, okay? We're thinking we're thinking, first I do this, then I do this, then I do this, then I do this. And what we're actually doing is we're, th we're working toward the goal. That's what we're doing when we're, we're thinking from the physical level. And yet, here's a person who goes from, uh, from trying to figure out how to pay his utility bills that are past due to being able to buy the utility company if he wants to. <laughs> okay? So, at the physical level, we go step by step by step, but, be, but because we actually live in a spiritual and mental universe, which is what Dr. Holmes tells us over and over and over again, because we live in a spiritual universe, we have the ability to bypass the linear process. Oh, you didn't hear me. Nobody's in the aisle dancing. <laughs> if you heard me, everybody, but there would be a soul train line going up and down the going up and down the church right now. 
See, that's right, Ike, that's right. Because we have an, the ability to bypass that linear process. We have the ability to quantum leap that linear process by seeing ourselves in the experience. By seeing it as already done. Wow. Wow, we, we, there is no mistake that we live in the quantum age. None. <laughs> But it's not just about quantum physics. We want to think from there. Dr. Ernest Holmes said on page 289 of the textbook, he said, in treating, we conceive of the ultimate of the idea, but never of the process. Never treat a process. Cosmic creation is from idea to object. It does not know anything about process. Process is involved in it, but not consciously. Correct practice should know the ultimate right action is here, now, today. So is your belief, are you believing from the, from the physical level? from the quantum level, where you can quantum leap the process. See, can you, over, can, you, can you leap over that process? Or do you have to know how it's going to be done? See? Can it happen to you now without a process? Or do you have to, or do you have to have that process take you step by step by step by step? That's what we want to pay attention to. To, if you've been diagnosed with some ailment, you've probably seen other people get well. Can you be well now? Can you choose that and not need a process? Can you prosper now and not need a process? Or do you have to figure out how it's going to come and go step by step by step? See, this is a gift. This is an amazing gift. You said it in your opening treatment. It was so beautiful. This is an amazing gift. We don't have to be like the eensy beensy spider, you know? We just keep, just leap right over it and see it as done. Okay, all right. So, the question is, how are you believing? All right, story number three. This is a great story. Now, in Canada this week, a man and his wife were doing home renovations, and they lifted a floorboard and found a leather pouch containing 10 gold coins worth 